in the next next task task in this exercise uh, we need to uh, have a file file called colors.txt and have all the names of the colors in there and let the script read it from there so let's switch to the editor here what we have is we have the colors listed in this array and it's hard coded in the script so we want to make sure that it's in the in a file called colors so let's create that file colors txt that's right now empty and let's copy the, the values from here I removed it from here and uh, copy all the values here and uh, let's put them one color on each line so we have the four colors uh, we can actually add the fifth color just to be extremely clear when we are testing the script that it's really different than the one we had earlier and then we have to somehow read that file and uh, fill up the colors array so what we do is um, open the file we open the file open my um, edit, let's call it in and uh, we open it and we open the colors.txt file or die and then here we can provide some kind of a warning again or explanation what uh, was the problem why we couldn't open the file I just put here the, the error message from the operating system right now and then we have to somehow fill the colors array so we can have uh, this um, array we define the array and then we read the line by line the array by the file file my line equal to reading in from the in file handler so far is good so we now have we now have the we go over line by line we make we jump the new line off from the end so the colors won't have the color strings won't have a new line at the end and then we have to somehow put the line uh, to, the, to the end of the colors array and um, what we can do is we can ac access the we can say that the colors array colors array is the same as what it was in the colors array already and the new line later on we'll have a much better way to do this but for now that seems like a working solution so let's see how it works switch to the other window and run the script so if I run the script now it shows the five colors that were in the file I can pick five and it's red and if I run it again I can pick six and it's a bad selection and if I run it again and two that's yellow right so it's working so what the, what we uh, switch back to the editor so all what we did is we opened the file and then we have the array defined here uh, we can move it el elsewhere we don't need it we just have to be before the while loop so maybe to make nicer I move it over here and then we have this section separately filling the, the array the, the colors array and then the rest of the code is just the same